What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece action. Today we're doing episodes 65, 66, 67, and 68. Very excited. We are in, uh, I hope, the Baroque Works arc saga. I don't really actually don't know what saga we're in after East Blue, but I am very excited to get into this. Zoro is coming in clutch right now on Cactus Island. So we're going to see how this plays out. I am very excited. Don't forget, if you guys want the full uncut, unedited version and early access up to eight episodes, check out that Patreon down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Let's get right on into this. One Piece, episode 65. Let's do it. So right where we left off, Zoro just disappeared after claiming he's going to beat them up or whatever. He's down there looking up, right? He's like, where did he go? I don't know. That's a good question. Yerka? Oh, I didn't realize they all had straps. And then he disappears again, and they all shoot each other. Are you serious? Well, oh, guys, come on. Are you serious? Boy, your wig's about to be cut clean off. Say that again. The Wado Ichimonji. I mean, we already got like 30 right behind us, you know? Is this man a musical assassin? A musical bounty hunter, we should say? Oh my god. Don't get me wrong, I know his stomach can expand, but that's a little excessive. That's so funny. She's awake. She's awake and hasn't been not observing the whole time. Nami's always observant and shit like that. I'm excited he's going to go all out and use all three swords, but I'm a little nervous of the Kitetsu 3, the cursed one, you know? Ooh, good dodge. Ooh! It's light. I like that. My man is quick. Jesus Christ, Mr. Bazooka Man. Why a legendary sword only cuts when its master wants it to? That's so badass. I don't even trust them. Nah, they're doing this little act just to get the kill. Nah, I don't trust them, but still, his swords are so badass. Okay, I was about to say, did he just kill that kid? Meanwhile, Nami's back up, looting all their shit while Zoro's handling them. That's the Nami we love and know. All their treasure probably goes to their to their boss, the mysterious guy. He's playing with them. Zoro's such an asshole. The two sword style. The Hawk Wave. I don't know if that's specifically named after Mihawk, but I like it. And it's going to sink in. Now, she is very strong. She is bra oh, brass knuckles, too. Brass knuckles on the roof. Cracked the shit. He ate that. What? Zoro's a strong like that? And she's knocked out. <laughs> it's just Zoro squeezing her head that hard. God damn. Zoro is really just a different breed. He's a different breed. He is, he also deserves a $30 million million berry bounty. Don't get me wrong, but, you know, they all are just savages. Yeah. 
が今片付けた連中とは比べ物にならん実力者ということさ。OK。喧嘩に肩書きなんぞ。Sometimes it depends。Oh, he's whipping out the shoddy, the shoddy trumpet. Haru? Uh huh. Quick speed that leaves lepers in the dust. So, Miss, she has a chocobo. I see. That's what I'm saying. All right. He backed you right to the edge of the building and you just jumped right off. Was that perfume? Okay, belly dancer, who do you think you are? See, if this was Sanji, this would be the ultimate trump card against Sanji. Sanji would be head over heels right now. Well, what physical effects does this perfume have on you? Because I thought it just smelled bad, but now Zoro seems to be actually going through it. That's what I'm saying. Like, what the hell is going on? Then you got Mr. Saxophone Man. Interesting hostage scenario. Luffy has no idea he's even a hostage right now. Man's got the hair cannons. I don't like that he uses that to control it, though. Oh, Mr. Nine. It was nice knowing you, friend. You're so dead. Let me use your belly. To, that, he wanted to close the distance, right? And he did it. Very well handled. <laughs> Using Luffy as a trampoline. That was clean. And that was with the Wado Ichimonji, too, wasn't it? I'm starting to get used to the hilts of the other ones. Oh, yeah, I forgot about them. He was like chatting at that bomb for the whole time. This was Mr. 13 and Miss Friday or what? What? Who are they again? I don't remember. Hold it. It's like an otter and a vulture. What just happened? And they're not going to show me them? All right, let's see him. Mr. Five and Miss Valentine. He looks kind of badass. She looks like she likes lemons. She looks like what's his name from fucking uh, Bungo Stray Dogs. They found out my secret, specifically referring to Zoro. VIP from a certain kingdom snuck into the Baroque works. Who? Alabasta, huh? His name is Igaram because he call, he's always say like what Agarapa. So he's from Alabasta. He's hidden, sneaking into Baroque works. Igaram. Okay. Ooh, I want to get that name too. So they're gonna get rid of Nefertari and Igaram, squad captain. They're all from Alabasta. I'm so curious. Right? They're shocked that one of their own, especially Mr. H, is a traitor. Is that what she looks like? Well, I'm down. Don't end the episode. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, time for episode 66. Let's do it. Wait, I did not even put two and two together that that picture is her. So she's Nefertari? She's the princess of the Alabasta kingdom? Ooh. 
So yeah, Mr. Nine didn't have no idea. <laughs> this is one fucked up night. You guys can do whatever. Deuces. I was curious how Alabasta was going to tie in a Baroque works and all this, that, and the other. Okay, booger pick. Aw, shouts out Mr. Nine. Does he flick his boogers at you to kill you? Does he have cannon boogers? Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, yeah, good joke, buddy. Oh. So his is what? The snot nose cannon pow devil fruit? And what is hers? Far east of here. Uh-huh. We're going to Alabasta. You'll be rewarded immensely. Oh, uh, and here comes Nami's intervention. One billion berries. You're going to save her? <laughs> That's hilarious. Meanwhile, Luffy's out this whole time. Look at this dude, bro. I do remember that. I do remember that conversation. Hey, intro. It was, you know, hour long interest, you know. <laughs> Ooh, sheesh. That cuts deep. Yeah, I'm going to hell, but hey, at least I'll go there rich. Damn woman. <laughs> Look at him run. That he is. That he is. Someone's taking a fat piss. Luffy, he did say bathroom. Look, I cannot take him seriously when he looks like that. Then they're going to run right into his... Oh, no, that's a snot cannon. Mr. Five and Miss Valentine caught up to him. Shouts out, Miss Monday. Heck yeah. Shouts out, you girly. Ooh. You're a disgrace to Baroque Works as he clotheslines her and then blows her up. Is that Miss Monday's death? I would not be surprised if that was Miss Monday's death, sadly. Oh, his whole body. Bomb bomb fruit. That is pretty dope. Not so I thought it was specifically his boogers, but no, literally his hand clothesline you boom. Kilo kilo fruit power. Alright, you ravity, chill out. So that's why she uses an umbrella. So the wind can push her or pull her in certain ways. Kind of smart. Okay, Chuya. Oh my god. I never thought of how devastating her power was until I just got flashbacks of Chuya a second ago. He could change gravity, which is pretty much like her. That's but Bungo Stray Dogs has a lot of similar powers and I get like I'm way more Oh, she's dead. I only knew her for, for a second, but I gotta throw up. Anyone who protect dies protecting their friends, especially on the bad guy's team, you earn some respect from me. So that's why he uses his boogers, because he has like a long range attack, because it's still technically his body. That was slick. You know how small that was to cut that in half? It cut his boogers. 
He's like, bitch, relax. I'm trying to save you. So definitely R.I.P. Miss Monday, but their devil fruits are sick. I need to have a list of all the devil fruits that I have so far. We have like, what, six now? A whole nation. That's ambitious. We're setting the groundwork. Oh, yeah. High social standing within a... Yeah. I get it. Mr. Zero. So you have strong up until five. Then you have really strong all the way to Mr. Zero. Here comes Luffy running on in. Looking like a goddamn blueberry. Luffy's heated. He's talking to Zoro. I'm assuming he thinks Zoro beat up these nice people because Luffy has no idea. Luffy is something else. I will tell you that. I will. Luffy, I swear. We just gotta pop him like a balloon. This dude is something else. Give him a quick kick. Come on. Use him as a, a wrecking ball into them. Oh my lord. All those explosions and a good ass whooping later. Luffy is... He whooped his ass. That's what I'm saying. He said I had a good meal, finally digested it, now it's time to fight. I love when Zoro puts on the... Ooh, he looks so gangster. All right, this is how One Piece ends, guys. Our two main characters kill each other right here. That is a badass move. Then Luffy rebuttals with a gum gum pistol right to his face. Good long range attack. Jesus. Those are some heavy hits right there. If I was Vivi, I'd be like, okay, these guys are crazy. I gotta go. Perfect timing. You're right in the middle of them. I know. They're like, if you don't butt out of my fight. God damn. Luffy and Zoro are... Uh, what? All right. On to episode 67. Let's do it. Yeah, Vivi's like, okay, maybe these guys can help me out. Maybe Mr. Eight was right. Okay, stop fighting, you guys. Look at the aura around these guys. They're literally going super insane. Nami's got to stop this or someone. Please tell me that's not good good this is i love the anime vibes i've watched naruto long obviously this came before naruto i've watched naruto long enough that the only thing that can stop two dudes in this kind of a fight is the girl of the group and she's like did you say a billion i can't i can't with these two i can't
Only from the title of the saga. It used to be. Is it in ruin? What's Civil War? So we're trying to infiltrate Baroque works to see what we can do. He just wants to stop her people from being manipulated. I understand that, but it's a very dangerous journey, you know? Yep. The ideal nation taking over someone else's nation. So what do we do? Do we take this girl to Alabasta? Please give me a name. Oh, that's cool. E no, tell us, please. I, I need to know a name. Rockadile. I've never heard of him. Right? Okay. So me and Luffy. <laughs> yeah, but and they're right up. Oh, and they know that they that she knows that they know. Oh no, this is not good. They don't know what we look like. Or I'm running away. Nami's like, are you serious? That's the plan, huh? That's... That's insane. Long ago was 80 million. Wow. Oh, a forever pose, eternal pose, whatever it's called. That is sick. We just, it always goes to that specific island that it's tied to magnetically. So we're taking the indirect route, which is the normal route. He's going directly there. Okay, so we're going to have a couple of side quests on the way there, a couple of islands. We're going to Alabasta soon. Okay, I like the way we're transitioning into this next arc. I did not think in the matter of a couple episodes, Igaram would turn from what he was into who he is now. But hey, shouts out One Piece. Super interesting. I don't know, just was not expecting this to be the arc. Who did that? Igarim is so dead. I was just talking about how much I liked him from... I was not expecting... Oh my god. He was. Oh my god. We were just like... We were just like... Yeah, it was like talking about how dangerous and scary the future is going to be. But we had a little high hopes right there. A little optimism. What the hell? Shouts out to Nami, who's truthfully terrified of the Seven Warlords, comforting Vivi in this time of sadness. Holy shit. That literally came out of nowhere. Oh, it's our first time getting Vivi's one. I like that. He's like, Luffy's like, boys, get up. We gotta go. Okay. Grab him up. A decoy, how foolish. Oh, she looks kinda hot. They have no idea what's even going on. They have not a clue. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Shut up, Nobby. I left out the complicated parts. I thought that was Vivi, but it didn't sound like Vivi's. Oh, she's already on the ship. She said, "We be careful not to crash in the rock." She's got to be like Miss Mrs. Three or something, like Mrs. Four. I don't know. Miss All Sunday. Oh my! I could use. I want to see her all Sunday. Oh, 
Who wants it? I know, right? He's like, you're about to shoot a girl, you know that, right? He's like, no, I don't. <laughs> Wait, what devil fruit does she have? She can disarm you? So she can like push and pull things at Lu at will. I said at Luffy, <laughs> right? Little garden. I mean, that sounds friendly. Uh, not even you will just die to little garden. The eternal pose. I don't think she's a good or a bad person. I think she just... I'm so curious. Luffy gives zero shit. That is true. That is facts. It's Luffy. This is his shit, the going merry. Why is she so goddamn beautiful? Yeah, I agree. No matter how dope or cool, good she might be. She's already on my hit list for that. She seems badass, though, as all hell. She got a cigar-smoking turtle? That's what I'm saying. With a hat? Smoking. That's pretty tough. This is quite the transition into this next arc that I was not expecting at all. We finally let him, we finally let him know the details and miss, you know, information. So two characters, Mr. Nine and Miss Wednesday, who I thought would be joking characters that would not stick around at all, ended up being some of the most, at least not Mr. Nine, but Vivi. Like, I was not expecting this at all. What's going on in Little Garden? We got a tiger already. We got something much, much bigger. Okay. Thank the Lord I have one more episode. All right. On to the final episode of the session. This is 68. Let's do it. <laughs> That's me. I don't know, maybe that we're going to a civil warring kingdom where one of the seven warlords is after us? Great moment. Don Krieg. Great moment. Captain Morgan. Nami wasn't there for that, right? Helmepo? Who are we thinking of? Kobe? Gotta be Kobe. Kobe! 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 This is fake, right? This is a dream he's having or something. There's just not a chance. Sub Lieutenant? Nah, th nah, there's no way. Okay, this is fake then. This is a dream. I was worried for a second there, but no, he's dreaming. Now he's the Colossal Titan? God damn. Yup, as he falls over right on Helmeppo. <laughs> that was a good dream, Kobe. Shouts out you. Shouts out Kobe, so enthusiastic, passionate. I feel like it's going to be a long time, but through determination and hard work, he'll, he'll make it. 
He's just laying on the roof while Colby's actually cleaning the windows. Look at this guy. He's a legend. They're only scared of Helmetbell because of Morgan. Kobe is such a kind soul. Too kind for this world. Right? You need to have some introspection. That's some, that's some wise ass words coming from my man Kobe. I think Helmeppo was somewhat inspired by that. Hey, it will. If there's a will, there's a way. Once you've dedicated your life to something, you know, you're dedicated. Jesus Christ. He doesn't think he's high and mighty, but... Kobe, they're going at it. Okay, they're in massive trouble. God damn it, you guys. Oh, is this the girl who's trying to feed? Yup. Trying to feed Zoro. Oh, yes. I think that's a cool ass picture, too. He's already there, Kobe. Little do you know. Little do you know, Kobe. Luffy is on his way, taking a princess back to a kingdom about to fight one of the seven warlords. I guess how crazy times is right now, you know? Okay. He's getting transferred. It's crazy to think that this is the same dude that Clahador uh, brainwashed. You know, Clahador and Django brainwashed at fucking in his past. Captain fucking Kuro. And that's your dad, you know? Even if our dads are horrible people, we still idolize them. First real sign of authentic emotion from Helmepo. That was actually a nice scene. A little bit of actual genuinity from Helmepo. It's Garp the Fist. Okay. The music. Oh. I'm excited. Anytime I see some named higher up characters. Garp. Oh, he's wearing. I didn't even see his face in the dog. I thought he literally was a dog. He's planning his escape right now. Taking his own son as a hostage. Jesus Christ. So he was able to slash down Garp and get away? Kobe is ballsy. He's willing to lay his life on the line for Helmepo. He is such a real one, it's not even funny. Look how much he's physically shaking. This is the only bit of compassion and, and love that's ever been shown towards you, Helmepo. Like, this is your dad right here, and this is Kobe. You better start treating Kobe like a goat he is. I mean, I respect Kobe immensely, don't get me wrong. But how are you going to catch up just swimming in the ocean? Two. Two, I was just going to say they can just fire after he just jumps off. But Oh. That did nothing to him. 
your chest was just gashed open. Yeah, he seems like one of those playful, will never show you how badass they are, but is super badass. Kobe was able to catch up somehow. The goat? How are they going to take on Morgan? Shouts out Luffy for inspiring Kobe. Shouts out Kobe for inspiring Helmeppo. I'm curious if Morgan had the slight utmost respect for them for standing up for themselves to him. I think he respects that. Okay, not what I was expecting. And now we have Morgan back out there. We could see him again. Oh, with Garp too? Oh, I'm down. I just got goosebumps. I'm down. I need to see more of headquarters. Kobe and Helmeppo going as well. Yep. So Kobe's going to be in the grand line as well. Hells to the yeah. Oh, I am so beyond ready. Oh my God. Okay, we're getting into this next arc in this next saga. I'm ready because I was curious. I was like, I've heard the term Baroque works on my volume on my box set. But then I know on Crunchyroll, they label them by arc, by sagas. So they had the first one, East Blue, and now we're in Alabasta. So I was like, how does Baroque works connect to Alabasta? I'm sure the show will do it in a creative way. And it very much was. The Alabasta Kingdom, or at least Vivi in particular, trying to find out the reason why the things are going on that are going on, ergo the Civil War, infiltrates Baroque works and finds out that they're manipulating the entire situation uh, controlling the populace of the people and enticing the civil war so that they can take over Alabasta and create their own kingdom. And I didn't realize until they are talking about partners, but, uh, so the partner to the number is equally as strong generally. So when you have Mr. Five, Miss Va Miss Valentine is his partner. They're like the combination of Mr. Five, you know, that's Mr. Five's partner. So for Mr. Nine, it was Miss Wednesday, Mr. Eight, Miss Monday. And so for Mr. Zero Crocodile, it's Miss All Sunday, who I need to know who she is. I need to know what her power is specifically, how she was able to kill uh, Igaram. First off, RIP Igaram, man. And Miss Monday. Holy shit, I have to assume they're dead. I have to. We have Nefertari Vivi, who is now our protected i don't know what am i trying to say the word i'm trying to look for we're protecting her on her way back to her home um crocodile one of the seven sea lords i'm very interested very excited the only other one of the we, we know two of the other seven warlords which is mihawk and jinbei and i am very excited to see all of them i feel like it's a good amount through like we've gotten a good amount through we're like what 68 i was about to say i have a full page of notes I'm running out of room, I'm starting to do stuff on the sides. Like, this is not looking good. And then it cuts back to my man, Kobe and Helmeppo, going, showing their daily struggles and the things they go through when they are being chore boys. You know, you, you get what you get, you don't throw a fit. Shouts out to them. And then this whole thing with Morgan being transferred to Garp. Boom, he seems super like lazy, weird, but super, super strong at the same time. Then you have this like dapper samurai right next to him, willing to, you know, like, Morgan's out there doing his thing. I'm curious about that as well. All kind of, and they're going to the Grand Line. They're going to the Navy headquarters. So when we finally go to the Navy headquarters, I, I don't know anything about any of the arcs or the sagas past where I'm at currently. I know one big spoiler and that's it. Uh, has to do with Ace. 
I'll let, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say anything else. But uh, in terms of everything else, I know nothing. So anything I'm speculating is all pure speculation. But I do know there is an arc or a, a saga called Marine Ford. No idea what that means, but it has Marine in it. So I hope I can see Kobe. That's all I'm hoping for. Um, don't forget to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below if you enjoyed this episode. Please check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions and up to eight episodes ahead. Links are down below like always. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out, y'all.